Here it is, guys. It finally came in. Not 30 minutes ago, fresh off the UPS truck, straight from Amazon. The Neotech NS872i. Now you're probably wondering, well, Jimbo, what's the I mean? Well, in this particular saw's case, I believe it means the uh, improved version of this saw because uh, Neotech has a regular 872 and uh, people had a lot of complaints about those so this was the this is the version that's upgraded because Neotech listened and uh, a lot of people like this saw even though I don't see very many people other than say Indiana Doug doing videos on it uh, I would also like to thank Indiana Doug for doing that teardown video and the videos that he does for uh, Neotech and everything pretty good and thorough reviews and uh, he did a really good thorough review on this one because he showed that they did improve the uh, ignition coil in here because a lot of people reported issues with the previous one people reported a no start issue with the previous uh, carburetor they've put an actual OEM Walbro carburetor on this um, it's the same deal they've improved the cylinder quality and everything is just they've improved what they've already had because Neotech listened to the people and the complaints that they had and uh, yeah it's a uh, 72 cc clone of the steel 038 super 038 magnum uh, 038 magnum 2 ms380 and uh, so all the parts for it are uh, interchangeable, same thing like with the Farmer Tech chainsaws. I still need to put the uh, dog on as you can see right there, it comes with the hardware and everything. Came with quite a bit right out of the box too. You have a pair of gloves, a pair of safety glasses which uh, appear to be pretty good uh, quality and whatnot. You have some uh, earmuffs. And this is something I've never seen with included with these Neotech saws, a D-handle and replacement starter rope. Though this one already has like a uh, clone of the Elasto start on it because they took the decompression valve off it. Uh, you have your standard toolkit, but inside the toolkit, all those plastic pieces there, they're uh, ring compressors and crankshaft holders, so if you had to do that kind of work on this. And also a chain scabbard slash sheath that I know is definitely going to be uh, way too small for the 20 inch bar that I plan to get for this but no big deal cranked up out of the box pretty quickly and I'd say about eight or nine pulls uh, gonna take a little bit of getting used to with that starter but uh yeah cranked up pretty quickly and uh, that's really all I could ask so now all that's left to do is get a bar for it and we can really put it to the test here's a view of the other side of the saw, the clutch cover side. You got your chain tensioner in there. Your carb adjustments right there. I do expect that I'll have to do some tuning on this, which is to be expected since, uh, you know, it's brand new. And if I haven't mentioned it already, it comes with a little uh, tank guard for the underside of your saw so you don't scuff up your uh, crank and fuel your crankcase and fuel tank so yeah sorry I didn't film the full-blown unboxing of this saw guys but uh, these past couple days have been so tiring it's not even funny ever since I got the good news that I mentioned at the beginning of the short I did a few days ago or about a day or so ago whenever I did that it's all a jargle because so much happened these past six months anyways guys thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video I will see you guys tomorrow in the woodpile video featuring the 455 Rancher. And yeah, stay tuned for that, guys, and I will see you soon. Take care.